When we come back, a conversation. We're going down south from New York to Miami. Many make that trip, but usually they do it. And when they get off the plane in Miami, they're still wearing their black socks, their shorts, and their black shoes. The vacationers. This is a very different kind of trip. One of the best pure hitters in the land. Alex Torral out of Archbishop Edward McCarthy, where Alex Fernandez, former major leaguer, is his head coach. That conversation in just a moment. Hashtag PG Love Baseball Forever. This is MLB Round Trip with Perfect Game. Back to MLB Round Trip with Perfect Game. Here's Darren Sutton. MLB Round Trip with Perfect Game. Hashtag PG Love Baseball Forever. The lighter side and the drive the chase to get ready for the season and uh, it, it's it's from new york where all of the work goes indoors to miami where everything is outdoors all the time and it's easy to work hard no excuses as we head down south to miami to alex Toral, who by the way happy birthday to you my friend happy birthday to you this is a good day right Yes, sir. It's always a good day. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. 18 years young, and so let's play a little bit. Let's have some fun as we did with uh, a fellow All-American, by the way. You uh, followed up Q, Quentin Holmes, on the on the backside of this, and we, we move on to you down to Miami. So, so, so here we go. Training, getting ready for the season. What are some of the things you've really been pushing yourself? Kind of walk us through a training regimen. Uh, pretty much lately, I've been focusing on just getting my body in the best shape and like losing the, the excess fat that I had over the summer. And honestly, I think it's been working. I'm excited for the upcoming season. How you doing it? Uh, I hit the gym five days a week, and then the weekend I'll hit cardio, legs upper, full body, legs upper, full body, and then I'll run on the weekend. So nice eating, it. eating, eating different, eating better, eating the same. How's your eating? Uh, I'm on a meal plan right now. I make my own meals, or my dad and me we make our own meals for all three meals of the day and then I'll, I'll hit a protein shake as my fourth meal of the day walk-up song do you do you have one or if you could have one what would the walk-up song by the way by the way a uh, q quentin holmes his his song is shine that was his uh, at our high school they don't let us choose walk-up songs but if i could have a walk-up song i'd probably use bandolitos by don omar it's just a spanish song nice little rhythm gets me to play in a rhythm so that's about it outstanding stuff i i love that What's inside of your head when your feet are in the dirt in the batter's box? When I'm in the batter's box and I'm hitting, I'm just as confident as I can be, and I know that it's, it's going to be a game of baseball. I'm not trying to overthink anything, just see ball, hit ball. So, so why baseball over other sports? You know, there are so many other options out there. You're an athlete. Why baseball over other sports? Honestly, when I was a little kid, my dad told me that he put every single ball in front of me in my life, and he said that I picked up the baseball bat, and I just started swinging off the tee at two or three years old, and... I guess it's always been my passion. I love the game. Why should younger players than you who play baseball and who play it passionately, let's say 14 years old, why should they work so hard to become perfect game All-Americans? Honestly, perfect game has been a class act the whole way. from When I started playing when I was like 13, 12, the perfect game events. And you know what? They put the best exposure out there. And for young guys to go out there and get that exposure and work, work their tail off to get there, it's honestly a blessing and it's something that you should be proud of once you get there. Outstanding stuff. Hashtag love baseball forever. Thanks for playing a little quick rapid fire and and a happy birthday to you. All right. Now, my style of questions. Uh, This year is a grind and you are a hard worker. It's a lot of at bats. It's a lot of uh, swinging. It's a lot of people watching you very closely. Describe the summer heading into your senior year. What was that summer like from National Showcase uh, to traveling to playing in, in, in several different places, including the WWBA as the year went along for the Elite Squad and the Astros, um, East Coast Pro, all the things that went into a 17U National Championship. What was that summer like for you? Honestly, this summer was amazing. I couldn't have asked for a better summer. I spent it with guys that I've been playing with my whole life, and I also met a bunch of great ball players from across the country. It was just, you know, just like any other summer, though. You go out there, you play baseball. It's a game you love, and, and you're going to take every moment of it, soak it in, and, and just take it like a normal game, no matter who's watching. Alex Terrell is joining us. Archbishop Edward McCarthy, his head coach, is Alex Fernandez. They were state champs last year. We're going to get into talking to him and, and that in just a second. He's also a member of the finest in the field, the best defensive players in their senior year of high school, brought to you by Rawlings. And so, Alex, I ask you about your exploits at first. Um, I'm going to have uh, breakfast next week with Mark Grace, who, who played it for a long, long time in the big leagues, my old broadcast partner, and he played it so very well. How much pride do you take 
in soft hands at that position. You can save the bacon of so many infielders with those soft hands. And how do you work on keeping your hands soft over at first? I take as much pride in defense as I do in hitting, even though people see first basemen as just guys that can whack the ball over the fence. Honestly, I'll still take my ground balls every day. I'll get out there on two knees, warm up my hands nice and easy, just one hand, make sure it's working good, get back, have my coach hit me some rockets, work on some picks. Honestly, first baseman is the one who finishes the play, so I, I take a lot of pride in that. That's outstanding stuff. And, and, and picking it, it's, that's the other thing about it. Making decisions. Do I have to give up the bag? You know, do I, where do I stay committed? Where do I go get that baseball? Maybe give up you know, one man on base instead of that man going all the way to third. That's also part of it that always gets forgotten about playing first, the decision-making that goes into it. Yes, there's always decision-making about it. I mean, everybody knows there's limits, how far they could stretch and everything. Obviously, there's those, those areas that come along, but... You know, if if you know yourself pretty good, you got to have your, your uh, teammates throwing the ball across the diamonds to trust you. If, if they throw a pick, that you're going to have their back. He's 18 now, but many years ago, he was a young man. So take us back to 2012. The 13U BCS at Terry Park in Fort Myers, and you were playing for the Pembroke Lake Bulldogs, if I said that right, by the way. Um, who, what, what was that like? What was that experience like as a as a young, young baseball player? That sounds like that was even right before high school. Yes, I think that might have been my eighth grade year, and I, I actually remember playing that tournament. Most of those guys that I played with on the Bulldogs played with the lead squad with me, and, you know, they go to my high school. So, uh, honestly, it's been the same group of kids my whole life, and I, I couldn't I – couldn't, say that I didn't enjoy baseball at that age. Honestly, I, I wanted to play every tournament possible with that team. I went everywhere with them. And that was probably one of the most fun summers just because we went literally everywhere with the Bulldogs. And those guys, you know, we're, we're all brothers still. It's like family now. And I'm, I'm glad that I've met them along the process. Interesting. Would you say that, that your family, going through this process, as we have a conversation with Alex Terrell, would you say at times... Uh, your family has enjoyed this ride as much as you, whether it be the trips, the hotels, sometimes the dads will have conversations over coffee. Would you say the family experience has been great for you as well? 100%. My family's taken me everywhere. They've always been that backbone, the support. And I couldn't thank my parents enough for everything they've done for me because I know it's not easy. And I know 100% they enjoyed it. They're about to go through it again with my little brother. They're going through child volleyball with my little sister, so they got a lot longer to go with it. And I'm almost 100% positive they enjoyed it as much as I did. We saw you at JetBlue at the National Showcase, uh, and I think we took for granted that you were there just a, a month before with your high school team. State title, huge state, my friend. I grew up in California. It's the same. I mean, you win a Florida state title, you've done something. What was that like last year with Alex and the guys and that team? Last year was probably my favorite state title, even though the year before we had one, and that was my first one. Just right. last year, that core nucleus of guys we had, it was just, it was just special. I mean, those, even the guys that graduated last year, we had four seniors who left. They still come, and we, we still go eat team lunches together, team, team dinners on the weekends. Like, even if it's not the same team, it's just being on that field with that group of guys, it was, it was something that you could never take for granted. And I'm going to look back, and that's a lifetime memory I always have. The number one player in the state of Florida, the number seven player in the United States, a perfect game All-American, Alex Alejandro Toral is joining us. On his 18th birthday, by the way, a state champion for Alex Fernandez. We, meaning I, because I'm a little older, remember uh, his successes in the major leagues as a pitcher for the White Sox specifically and obviously uh, for the Marlins as well. What's he like as a man and as a coach now? Coach Alex is like a second father figure to me. His son is my best friend, and he's taken me in as I'm his own kid. You know, if you ever met him on the side of the road, and he's just such a genuine guy, you know, he, he looks like he's just trying to help everybody out on their best. He does everything for the team, everything for the guys. You know, he treats us like if we're big leaguers, but we're in high school. He's awesome, and I, I'm so happy that I've, I've been a part of his life this past, you know, nine years, I think, that he's been my coach. Outstanding stuff. Alex Doral is joining us. Introduce us to your dad, Alejandro. Uh, my dad, you know, he's he's literally what has gotten me through my life in, in baseball. He's done everything for me, paying hitting lessons, you know, taking me to the park, taking me to practice, you know, putting balls on the tee on the garage after work when I was 10 years old. 
I couldn't thank that guy enough for everything he's done for me. I love my dad to death, and I'm so thankful that I have a dad like him. I hope I can be like him when I get older, honestly. That's a high, high words of praise. And how about your mom, Ileana? My mom, she, you know, she's a hard worker. She's a doctor, so she's uh, always tied up at work trying to do everything she can for the kids, my little brother and sister and me, and always helping us with the homework and stuff cooking for us good dinner she i mean i love her she's always been there she's always gone to tournaments with me she the ones that my dad can't make it with she's just as supportive as my dad you know i i love my parents so much i couldn't i couldn't thank them enough for what they do for me outstanding stuff alex listen we wish you the best of luck have a great season go out and win yourself another state championship we enjoyed spending a lot of last year with you through the circuit and uh, obviously June will be fun for you to see where your name is called. But uh, it, So we'll either see you out playing professionally or, or we'll see you on campus at Miami. Best of luck. Go get them. Thank you. I appreciate it. It was nice talking to you. On his birthday today, Alex Terrell, happy birthday to him. 18. Hashtag PG. Love baseball forever. Hashtag PG. Love baseball forever. We roll on. This is MLB Round Trip with Perfect Game.